Hello dear viewers I hope you are doing well Okay this is Protein Rava here and welcome back to building execution technology uh, Today in this video series uh, I'm going to show you how to make checklist Okay the checklist it can be anything uh, like any anything uh, any checklist for the items that we carry out our works okay it can be like excavation ATT chemical treatment uh, concreting shuttering checklist and reinforcement checklist etc okay so I will be bringing up all those uh, videos on uh, all those checklists I mean okay so if you want uh, checklist like this which I will be showing you now okay if you want and want to learn and you want to know how those kind of checklist are prepared okay then you please keep watching these videos and don't forget to subscribe my video and press the bell icon and likes and comment below you need to press the bell icon and then subscribe it to get my videos like this in future okay because i will be bringing you this kind of videos from now onwards okay so whatever the checklists are there that we need before uh, carrying out our side work I will be showing you all those things all right so without further delay let us start okay okay you uh, I, I have one uh, excel file that uh, which I already opened okay so I will be showing you from that okay let's go to excel all right here i have opened my excel sheet here okay which i have already prepared for you because like uh <laughs> if i show I, I write you how to make it here it will take lots of time okay so i have already ready made format hmm, which is which won't uh, take time i mean okay uh, and then it is it will be easier and <laughs> you won't get bored also so uh, without further delay let us uh, uh, explain you one by one all those uh, checklist for excavation today i will be showing you checklist for excavation see today i will be showing you checklist for this excavation okay and i hope you can see this clearly or not okay let me zoom it some more let me, let me zoom it again okay let me take full screen yeah okay I guess yeah it is covering our whole uh, format okay yeah we can see it clearly all right see uh, see it is very important that uh, you need to make checklist to check out before executing your work okay so today especially in excavations I will be showing you what are the things that you need to check before carrying out excavation for footings or anything okay huh so the format will be something like this okay first of all you write checklist okay you make a table and write checklist like this okay here i have highlighted you okay yeah this one like this you have to make uh, table and write down all right next uh, next you have to write project the project name I mean okay whatever project name or whatever project you are doing you need to write it here okay let us say suppose XYZ project you are doing and then client you need to write your client name who is your client here okay say suppose anything CCC the client name okay it can be anything I'm writing it here just for your example purpose okay and then document numbers it can be anything like uh, QA QC 001 002 okay accordingly you have to write it then project location you need to write down project location where you are doing the project in which place that you need to write here in this uh, box okay say so, suppose I am doing in Meghalaya okay yeah I am doing the project in 
Meghalaya. Okay, I write Meghalaya project location. And then the next. The next is your site. Site means like um, this almost same uh, with project. Okay, you are doing a X Y project. Okay, that one you can write it down here. X Y Z project. And location in in which area? I mean in which part? Where you are doing? Say suppose you have uh, so many uh, items. Okay, uh, one at east side and one <laughs> other work at west side and other work at north side and other work at uh, like what south side. Say suppose we are doing our work at. I, I mean we are checking our work at node locations okay now that one only you have to write here say our work and then that uh, our work is going on I mean uh, our work is going on in node locations and we are going to check uh, the work okay we are going to check the work in that location and then that you can write whatever the date that you are um, going to check okay so suppose you are going to check today or uh, i mean like uh, whichever date okay in which date you are checking that you need to write there all right the next is next is our main tax like this okay the next is you need to write serially one by one okay i have i think till uh, 11 okay next first things in excavation you need to check what you need to check uh, you need to check that if there is any underground utilities like sewer water pipelines and cables okay you need to write like this as the same way that i am showing you here then you give a column like this yes no and not, appli not applicable yes no not applicable okay now after your observation say this sewer water pipeline and cables are present in that location where you are going to excavate okay if yes then bring to the notice of the project manager and adequate precautions to be taken while excavation you have to tell your project manager okay if these severe water pipe lines and cables are present in the place or in the location where you are going to excavate okay if present then you need to bring to the notice of your project manager okay the, so that your uh, educate uh, precautions can be taken okay if it is present then you write yes and if it is not there then no or whether you need to inform or not if it is not i mean necessary then you can write not applicable not applicable and a okay next is don't forget to check whether the excavated pits are adequately sold or timbered okay after excavation means or if any uh, pits are there then you need to give shoring shoring means is a kind of uh, support okay this is a kind of support that you provide to the excavated or uh, yeah to the excavated allocation okay to prevent uh, some kind of sliding land sliding okay so you need to check that one whether it has been provided or not okay if provided then you what to say you click yes and if no then no or whether it, uh, it is needed or not if not needed then you can write next is the third one third one what it says that are the excavated areas provided with fans and barricades okay it is very important say uh, after excavation or before the excavation you need to check it that whether the area where you are going to excavate it has been fenced or uh, has been put safety barricade or not you need to check that one as well if it is given then yeah, right yes if no no 
and whether uh, if it is not needed safety barricade and fences are not needed then you can write not applicable okay next is number four are the excavated materials kept from the edge of the pit or trench by at least one meter okay c excavated material kept from the edge means the place or the location in which you are excavating okay the materials that is present in and around the excavated area it should be at least away from excavated pit by one meter at least okay so you need to check that one whether it it has been kept any materials that has been kept one uh, meter away from that excavated location or not you need to check that out okay if it is kept at one meter then write yes if no no or not applicable as i said now next is five numbers are the heavy equipment such as cranes shovels vector loaders etc kept away at least six meters from the edge of excavated pit which means all those things okay is this crane shovel vector loaders etc it should be kept at a distance of six meter from that excavated pit okay i hope you understand okay you read it out or you read and understand by yourself also okay if it is kept at six meter then write yes if no no and not applicable okay there next is are danger sign provided near the excavated area yes that's very important that's one also is one of the very important criteria that we need to uh, observe while checking a checklist for excavation okay so after excavation or before excavation you need to provide a danger sign okay say uh, deep excavation ahead okay hmm uh, like that i mean those kind of sign the deep, deep excavation ahead or deep excavation is going on something like that sign you need to write it down and put it nearby the location of your excavation okay if already if you have already put that sign then write yes tick yes i mean and if not there then no and if whether it is needed or not then if not needed then not applicable you just click it okay or you can tick that one not applicable next is seven means of access and exit from the work area provided yes <laughs> exit means uh, access and exit from the work area provided okay you need to check it out whether whether the uh, adequate or enough access to go and come back from the uh, excavated locations it has been provided or not you need to check that out also okay if it is provided right yes if no no and not applicable okay same next is check set out yes this is also this is also very important uh, uh, checklist okay setting out okay your layout you must check out your layout or set out very carefully otherwise your alignment of the building will be somewhere okay not like exactly we want so you need to uh, check your set out okay whether it is in the correct position or not hmm. in set out you may you need to check the means your center line okay center line you need to check out your grid line all those things you need to keep it in mind okay if everything is okay then you click click oh, yes if no no and if needed or if needed or not you can give accordingly but important thing is that you need to check it out if it is not set you need to correct it down okay you need to correct it next is it number oh, nine number yeah uh -huh. check excavation size with tolerance offset okay see your excavation should not be more than the specified uh, excavation area okay uh, like say suppose your footing size is two meter by two meter all right now you need to check uh, how much they have how much the people or those who are excavating your uh, footing or foundations okay you need to check that work if they are excavating less you need to warn them or you need to tell them that yes 
this is not according to the specified dimension okay your excavation or whatever okay you need to tell them and then offset see with tolerance offset it means uh some areas okay we need to uh left for the workers to move around say suppose in foundation you need to keep some offset okay some offset like 300 mm so that all the shutterings and then yeah i mean like shuttering okay shuttering uh, what okay for shuttering and the shuttering okay this offset is very much important next is uh, check for loose material and loose soil okay in footings you need to remember one thing is that after excavation there should not be loose material or loose soil on your foundation okay if anything present you need to clean it you need you need to clean it nicely or dressing should be done okay <coughs> so if if everything is okay fine then you click yes if no no and no need if no need then you click and a right now now next is our final one check bottom of excavation indicate proposed gl ground level that means okay basement level with respect to existing road level okay that one you need to do with your auto level okay you need to check the level of the a uh, foundation bottom level okay that that you need to do with your uh, what we call um, auto level yeah as a site engineer you must know how to operate that auto level and you must know how to check your bottom level of that uh, excavation okay that is very must if you don't know then you have to learn it from your senior okay so after checking if you find okay then click okay uh, yes and if not then no you need to again cut down i mean you need to excavate again hmm. and if not applicable then you right click it not applicable all right next is remarks of quality assurance engineer here after checking that quality assurance engineer will give you remarks in this box or uh, whether all the things are okay or not he will write it down if found anything wrong or not according to the specifications or not according to the standard or a scope of work then he will write okay after observations it, it has been found that some kind of uh, like items are not okay or okay he will write it down okay the next signature he will put it here and approved by the client okay and client signature will be here and that of observation and signature and remarks comment anything that he will give this so sorry okay remarks and comments approved will be given here yes we are done that's all i hope you enjoyed this and if you want you can like my videos my channel uh, and subscribe it and press bell icon for more videos like this okay mm, next i will be uploading uh, say in a sequential manner means today we have started excavation checklist next we shall do PCC after that shuttering checking after that concreting checking after the reinforcement like that we continue in a sequential manner all right so thank you for watching my video and please like it and comment down below if you have any doubt or what kind of checklist you want and share with your friends as well and if you like my video please subscribe it and press the bell icon uh, thank you for today and see you in the next video thank you